Assalamu alaikum. I hope you all doing well and everything is great. My name is Mahmoud Mustafa and I'm an Egyptian Arabic calligraphy artist and designer. I was actually working on a signature for a friend of mine. This friend, he is a calligrapher and he will use this signature for his artworks. So I thought it could be helpful if I can share the steps on how to make your own signature using the Arabic calligraphy. So here, as you can see, the name of my friend is Fuad. This is the first rough sketches I made. And um, in this sketch time, I try to discover more the shape, how it will look like, and what is the final image will be without thinking too much about the details at the moment. After that, I start to enhance these sketches and make it a little bit more clear uh, in another paper. And I try to take from these rough sketches what I feel the best. And here I chose these three ones. Actually, like this could be almost the same, but I have the difference here in the shape of the Aleph. Here, as you can see, also the shape of the head of the Fa and the head of the Wow. Uh, maybe it is not clear here, but I can imagine it more. Then here we add uh, the word Katabahu. Katabahu, it means written by. And usually this is one of the forms we usually use in uh, the signature. So to design any signature in Arabic calligraphy, usually we use Ijaza script, as we know. And as you can see here, we just have common parts, which is like this little sign here. And also this little part, which is uh, here, you can see it is going out from this side here. Um, so basically, you're going to write the name. Okay. Try to imagine the shape in, of the name in any way. It could be your name or any other person name. And most of the time we do something uh, go out like this. Okay, and go back to the design. It looks a little bit like a shape of ellipse. And from this side, we just keep uh, on the alignment of this part here. And we just do another part, which is look like this. You are gonna feel like it is more like S shape. All of it is just S shape and you can see the name is going uh, around this year. So as you see, they are not connected, but they try to um, keep it in this form. Um, like if you do any signature, you're gonna have some kind of uh, flourishing around or anything like this, but this is here mainly for uh, the one in Arabic calligraphy. Now we're gonna try to make it with ink. And I just start to sketch to see um, how the sketch I made it will go with me. And at this time, you don't have to really to be afraid. You just keep trying to make it as best as you can. But there is no worries if it is not really perfect. As you can see at this moment, I just have the first two letters. Um, I can start to do the letter after, but I feel like I have to do uh, the final letter before the Aleph. So I will do it and I will see how things will go. And this is mainly at the step of design, but when you start to do the signature many times, you will know how you can manage it in the right order. Here is the dal. I can do the aleph here as it is in, it was in the sketch. Then we have this extra S shape we talked about. And finally here, this little part. And this little part here, as you can see, this we do it with thickness of the qalam. And then here, we just try to um, give it some kind of, uh, I don't know, smoothness in the movement to make it a little bit thinner. We start to add our nokta here to be attached to that part. So for now, um, I feel like the final thing we have to do is this part around here. 
have we have to take care about this kind of extension to make make it in in front of it and you can just end it in this way the second step i have to make now is to do the same thing but i will use a black ink on the top of this one so i can make some enhancement to uh, this design here and edit what i don't like and see how that will go for here i feel everything is good maybe here i feel the thickness is not that good it needs to be a little bit smooth And uh, also the head of the wow here need to some improvements. Here the body of the wow is good. I need to uh, maybe improve a little bit the thickness here or just like the curve at the beginning. And then also like the curve here, I feel it is very thin. So I can make it quite uh, thicker. I feel this dial somehow uh, need to be a little bit closed to that side like this and for this alif I feel it needs some kind of inclination like the slope of it is it is very straight I feel like um, I can make it more inclined like this and of course, like at this point, I just like have to make it also like the curve here smooth somehow. Here, I feel this curve is just like um, all of it is moving in one side, but to this movement at the beginning, it should be like more like, like this part as a reversed curve. So I feel it should be somehow like edit it in this way here for the final part here in the top I feel it should be a little bit thick at the beginning and then it start to get thinner as you go to the end of it and it doesn't have to be really perfect it's totally fine And finally here, I will start to trace this design and I will try to add all the details I need to add in this final step. So I can be able to use this on any kind of design I will need later. So here, I will just use a trace paper. I can go directly with the ink and just design what I want to design. But I prefer always to use a pencil before so I can be more accurate about what I want to edit without wasting too much paper. So here, and if there is any detail I can add with a pencil, I will do. If I feel like it is fine, then I just keep going, just tracing the outline. And I trace the black parts. I ignore totally the brown ink sometimes because I already edited these parts with the black ink. So I don't really have to um, trace the brown ink. Here you can go slowly, slowly. You don't have to like crush anything. So everything can be accurate. If there is anything with a pencil, you need to erase and it is not accurate with the ink. You can of course do that. So. That's that's why I love this way in general in designing any art any kind of artworks. I can add a little bit of Zolof here to the head of the dial, or I can leave it. It's totally fine. We'll keep it simple. This part, if you feel like you need to trace it in, in a different direction, you just can do so. So you can be accurate.
for now we finished the design and it is quite accurate and I'm happy with everything except there is some kind of issues like um, on the um, on the sides so I'm gonna fix that with a very uh, simple um, pen or even like I can bring a smaller column and then start to draw around the edges and remove the pencil and that's uh, all for for this design so I will start to do that now and I will show you final design Finally, alhamdulillah, we have finished our design and I feel quite happy about it. Of course, if there is anything, I just can repeat the last two steps and it is gonna be fine. Now, it is your turn to start to follow these steps and I would be very happy if you can share these results with me. Of course, if you have also any questions, just leave it to me. I would be very glad to answer all of you. Thank you. Until next time. Salam.